Hi, this is Paul from TradeTheFifth.com and this is an update on my hot stock series that I'm trading for 2019. So I chose five hot stocks for, for 2019 on the 30th of December and since then I've been trading them, taking profits on UMP recently was the first close, remember last week. I took 230% profit times risk on that. So I wanted to update every every stock, where we are, what we're doing, um, because we are we 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 get looking like we've got another trade on UMP. So let's go through them. The first one is PTC. We've been very patient waiting for this one because this is a longer term swing off the weekly time frame, and our entry was 9207. Remember, I set this up way back when on the 30th of December, and sometimes these longer term swings. We have to wait until certain levels have been breached. So we're, we're confident or reasonably confident that that bullish momentum is really going. As you can see now, for the last four weeks, we've been getting higher highs, higher lows. And then this last week, um, we have actually triggered. So week ending the 22nd of February, um, you know, we're, we're nearly, you know, nearly two months into the year. And this is triggered. Now, this is a longer term swing. So we're actually looking now, as long as markets remain pretty bullish, this could be 20 weeks in, in the run. And we could uh, we could uh, um, weather some pullbacks during there, look for other trading opportunities on smaller time frames. But PTC is now in uh, and we are on our way. So let's go to the next one is Adobe. We need to change the time frame here. Today, we're trading this off the daily, but what I want to do is go to the four hourly now to manage it. So let's just change this chart back to daily to begin with, and then we will restore start sales now and go to the four hours. So, we've got earnings coming up reasonably soon. We've got to be more aggressive with our trading stop. Remember, our last trading stop was locking in 100% profit times risk at this $250.81. $250 now we've had a pullback last week. We've rejected um, these lows. At our This is our EMA cloud that was part of our uh, indicator suite on the Thinkorswim platform. Uh, and also, we, we, remember, we broke through this uh, big resistance zone here. Uh, so we've come back down to test. We've bounced off. We're doing OK, um, but I don't want to be too into this before earnings. So we've got a lot of fresh air there, but let's just be more aggressive with that trailing stop. So what I've done is I've adjusted it to 253.50. Uh, so that locks in 125% profit times risk now. So we, we, we're still below this resistance, support resistance zone. So if it does come back down to test, for me, if it go, breaks through here, it's going to go down anyway. So we're going to take the profit. At this moment in time, uh, we're at 125% profit times risk. Now, we've got to see how next week goes. If we can get through this resistance zone and keep above there, I will look to adjust up to 257.26, locking in 160%. But so far, so good on Adobe. So UMP, remember, we took 230% profit times risk on this big move on the daily on the daily time frame. If you remember rightly, uh, we, we got this breakout here and got this trade all the way up to the upper bound of our channel. We've had a pullback since then, and this is what I'm interested in. Using our multiple time frame strategy that I teach in our elite training course, we've had a pullback now on the 60 minute on a wave four. Okay, so basically we took the profit near those highs right at that resistance zone where the uh, the upper bound of that weekly channel is. And then we've had some profit taking. That profit taking seems to be subsided. So we've had the wave four pullback into our green zone. So if that support holds, we've got a good probability of a fifth wave move into our automated target zone of around about $174. Um, looking at the performance of that wave four, we use our 535 oscillator here. Uh, so that's pulled back during the wave four and crowned within 1940%. The stochastic has pulled back and crossed over in the oversold zone against its very strong yellow um, false bar at the top there. And you see on our multiple time frame, we're strong bullish all the way. And our multiple time frames all the way up to weekly on here. 
but these cyan dots here you can see on this current six minute time frame were in the cloud so we, we denote that pullback on multiple time frames as well so all looking pretty strong uh, we've got to go from a, I think a reasonably aggressive entry here um, we want to swing this but we need to be in and out by the end of the week in reality uh, we are going to test those all-time highs up here as well so I've gone from aggressive entry $170 and 40 cents which is above the highs of Friday because Friday we we had uh, the move down it rejected it and we formed that bullish pennant so $170 and 40 cents is above that high and outside of the 6-4 moving average high for the first hours bar position on Monday the 25th of February the next the stop loss 168 a couple of cents below that uh, way four and then the target is around about $174 so we're about risk to reward 1 to 1.6 but we have to manage this carefully because if we do find more resistance at that all-time high here we've got to be sensible and maybe you know we're going to protect that profit we've already taken in this stock so I will manage this as and when we as when I can but if we do get a move up and we get some um, weakness at this point I'll probably move the, the stop to break even so I'm not going to give anything back okay so next is Costco we're trading that off the daily this is the first trade on Costco this year so we had um, the the breakout signal that we've traded we've entered um, but it then it's pulled back and then Friday we got this bullish so all of this pullback here in the blue was low volume and then the bullish day on Friday was low volume so it looks like there's some profit taken but there's no real big impetus on there we have got earnings soon as well on this um, but at the moment we're in a slight loss making position uh, stop loss is down here at 212.43 but still looking pretty strong uh, with that close on Friday we looked like a test going to go try and go through this resistance level again and that was our thesis for getting in above $219 that we were through this resistance zone okay so next is into this is the monster trade I know 230% profit on UMP was the first monster trade of the year but this one is going for it so uh, the, the previous accordion to this series I posted uh, before earnings a chart of my plan to manage through earnings so basically um, I had my trailing stop at this 160% mark before earnings uh, we were at um, we were at the 250 mark there for a couple of days before earnings so I decided to take half of the position off so uh, you know imagine that we we've, we've got the one the whole position we take half a position off at 250 percent profit times risk that banks 125 percent profit times risk before earnings uh, then with that trailing stop at 160 even if it went against us on earnings we would have taken 80% because we're only at half a position that would have still given us over 200% profit times risk on this trade as it happens and as I thought earnings was great and we moved up and plowed through near the 400% per cent line so the, the idea is now we've got to be more aggressive with this trailing stop so I've adjusted the trailing stop to 235.59 which is below the low of Friday after that big move okay so we've only got half a position left so that's 125 percent profit locked in on that half position overall though if that was taken out we'd be at 250 percent profit times risk so really really strong looking trade got profit taken already good profit uh, in so what we're looking for what the scenario is now for Monday is you know we could get a bit of a pullback we got a very high volume day and price action on Friday but it did close near the high the most likely scenario is we get some consolidation we start to form a bit of a bullish flag because we're at those all-time highs now so you know those decisions now become individual for a trader for me I've got profit in the bank already I've locked in some really great profit as well so what I'm going to do is see how it performs over the next couple of days do we get a severe pullback if it does my training stops taken out overall for the whole trade I've taken 250 percent profit times risk add that to UMP 
you know, I'm, I'm literally 480% profit times risk on just two of the five hot stocks for this year. So what the idea is then once we if we do get a shallow pullback on low on low volume, we start to find support levels and we can adjust our trading stop accordingly. So right now we're reasonably aggressive and the plan into next week is to see if we get some consolidation or a pullback, look for a further support levels and then start to adjust higher to protect even more profits. So really, really great. So five hot stocks. I chose these at the beginning of 2019 and I want to continue trading them through the whole year. So keep coming back to this article. The I'll show you the article on the website here. So remember, <clears throat> This was the 21st of February. This was before. So the, and this and then if you want to look at the video before you click the down arrow and you watch the video. So every single update I've made, the, the trade setups, the entry strategies, the management strategies are all in there. And that's my first video from the 30th of December. And I'm going to continually update this throughout the whole year and just goes to show you that actually when we're trading and swing trading and using multiple time frame strategies, we can choose a number of stocks that are good, strong growth stocks. Yes, you need a bit of skill finding those. But if you just trade those five through the year, hopefully we can show you that you can you can make decent profits on those five stocks. So, so far, so good. We're going really, really well. Um, we'll continue to update. So have a great trading day and look forward to the next update.